What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing the recap of the last war for 2.0. It was against this uh, South Korean clan. Uh, really nothing special. Uh, very, very poor mismatch on Supercell's part. Uh, uh, 2.0 just, just kind of ran, almost ran the table with them. Um, so uh, nothing too interesting. going to make this a quick one. Flip over, show you what happened. Uh, one by 21 stars. Um, you know, they, they really struggled <clears throat> on the three star count. Only two three stars. So, uh, but they did use most of their attacks. You know, they gave it their all, so good for them. Um, show you what they did. They only got one on Moose. Uh, they did three-star Ivan and DI. Those were their two three-stars. Uh, and two to everything else. So, uh, gave it their best. Did what they could. Uh, didn't really stand a chance. Uh, as you can see, I have a three-star to show you from KNX. I have a three-star to show you from JJ stepping up versus a 10, uh, plus a few other really nice attacks in here. So uh, just going to try and make this real quick because, again, it wasn't the most interesting war. I got some really good content coming this weekend, so uh, we will just move right on to that. Just going to jump in here to KNX BCing up one versus one. So not a terrible base, you know. Max on hold 10 defenses. Um all around the board, 30, 30 heroes, 33 Archer Queen, in fact. Um, so nothing to scoff at here. Uh, can act as is typical, you know, giant to tank, drops the jump spell. Another giant just to help out a little bit. I believe he's going to delay his king here for one more second. Arch Queen is taking serious fire at the moment. She just really needs to get this air defense. There goes this king, just in, just in the nick of time for this jump to get over and take out this Archer Queen. Down she goes. CC comes out and he knows it's a hound in the loon, so he's looking golden. Still has a sliver of health on that Arch Queen. She's about to go down to that mortar. One more shot. Uh, nothing these uh, CC troops can do to the air attack. So goes ahead and sends his quad Lalo in. Uh, just really just sprinkles in a few uh, three four loons around. Uh, I love KNX's patented drops these uh, back end delayed balloons. All these loons goal. This little pack of five balloons goal is to go straight into this core, take out the Teslas and the Inferno. It's just to ensure that all this stuff goes down even though as you can see KNX just beasting it up that freeze was perfect rage is perfect last inferno is about to go down there is an air defense at the bottom here but there's just way too many loons to deal with this last hound bursts air defense has like a sliver of health the pups finish it off looking pretty good can is the last defense KNX is just a beast <laughs> just continue to blow me away dude with these attacks keep it up man that is Oh, all the pups lock onto that hound. <laughs> but that's your three star. Nice job, KNX. All right. Town Hall 9 stepping up to take out a 10. Now, it isn't a 10 in a sense. It has Inferno Towers, but obviously, as you can see, a lot of really rushed defenses in here. Purple and pink walls. Kind of disgraceful, but uh, JJ goes in here and really just shows them what's up if you look in this base there is no potential spots really for any sort of threat of bombs so jj just brings a huge hog attack does a king swap for the queen on the outside drops a giant just hogging this entire base with a bunch of heals and even a rage yes a rage for the hogs in in the core here so rage is about to go down as soon as these hogs kind of continue moving in really drops that queen really late she her only duty this whole raid is to just clean up uh so that's all she's gonna do uh hogs are just working through that rage just pulled them right through the score look at it there's only five defenses left <laughs> i don't know how many hogs he's got left but just unreal poison goes down take care of those skeletons perfect timing on that wizard tower is the only defense remaining jj crushed this 10 unbelievable nice job man read that base like a book beautiful three stars all right just gonna keep this in the top what do i think i have Four replays for you, Sparta. My man. My man, Sparta. Going against their top uh, nine here. So nothing to scoff at again for this base. You know, this guy had a decent little base layout. Um, sort of symmetrical, so he's got to work on that. But not terrible. We'll just we'll just leave it at that. Uh, so Sparta just does a little tiny queen walk here. Creates a huge funnel. Really just wants to take out this whole compartment because he wants to push his Valks up and into the core so he's got four valkyries he's dropped his golem already this tesla i'm sure surprised the crap out of him on the outside uh but he deals it with a, like a boss just drops a few hogs right on top of it see you later tesla continues to create his funnel and then he's gonna just open up that wall there goes the test wall breaker 
a uh, few more wall breakers going in I'm gonna open that right up kaboom drops the king in behind and here come the valkyries jump is down and again because he cleared this whole compartment there's no reason for the valks to go down there so guess where they're gonna go these two defenses and right into the core that's exactly what he wants it's exactly what he planned for it's exactly what he's gonna get so you can see they lock right onto that queen. They just suck right up onto her. Crossbow's going down immediately. Uh, that Tesla pops, uh, no big deal. Still has Golem in there. Just going to continue. He's just going to start sending in his hogs here. Immediately drops a cleanup wizard behind it. I love how Sparta does that. Uh, I'm really trying to start doing that on my raids. Um, so you can just drop. As soon as you send your hogs in and they start tanking those defenses, get that cleanup wizard down. It really make, It's going to make or break a lot of raids in the end for you yeah, sometimes. Uh, so he just reinforces four or five more hogs three more hogs on this cannon on the outside he's got two more heels he's gonna drop one right now over this kind of tesla area and he's got one more for this last section of defenses on the bottom and he's looking good drops even a barb on this builder's hut on the outside gets a wizard on that other builder's hut really just knows knows his base right now he knows where all the buildings are doesn't want to worry about cleanups got a minute to go now double giant bomb goes off at the perfect time as the hogs are wrapping around they wouldn't have touched it anyways but uh really just a couple more defenses here it is clean up sparta my man killed it just a beast i love it i think you had all of your kill squad still alive except your wizards nice job all right three stars for sparta I think I'll show Click Clack. Yeah, I got a couple more here for you still. Uh, Click Clack goes in on their number eight. Uh, he's just going to bring a Shattered Lalo straight up here with five haste. This is what I liked about this. Five haste, a rage, and a jump. Doesn't even bother with the poison. Um, so it goes ahead. I'm pretty sure he knows it's a Lava Hound in the CC. Goes ahead and drops a Shattered Andrew. Just creates his funnel. Gets his queen down in that perfect positioning. In a second, he's about to jump over here and basically get right to this queen. Get both of these air defense and then send in his air attack. Um, things are looking pretty good at this point. The, the wizards stop the funnel for a second to work on that king, but no big deal. Funnels in, jump is down. King's going to uh, just bait right in onto that gold storage. As soon as he's in there, queen's going to lock on. So he's going to lock on on the queen. Raises it up. Queen goes down on a couple hits and he immediately uh, commences with his air attack drops this uh, lava hound on this one air defense over here two loons on the arch tower two loons on the cannon gets a haste down he really wants just wants to push the pathing right down to this air defense two more two more looking good second lava hound is in he's got one more in the bag he's going to save for this very last air defense because i think he's banking on getting this air defense one more hit oh from his queen just in time <laughs> click clack just timing it like a champ couple bombs go off on these lava hounds he actually kind of wants these to burst at this point because really there's this last section of defenses he still has a haste to move this whole clump of loons up plus two more loons for this back end wizard tower which is exactly what he's saving that for wizard tower down a couple tesla's and a crossbow to go really looking good at this point there goes those back end loons just like i said doesn't quite get them down in time they are targeted on that the wizard tower is targeted on the big clump of balloons however they're going to be on top of that in one second down goes the wizard tower cannon is the only defense remaining click giddy clack just killed it buddy nice attack man a lot of cleanup left but it doesn't matter hound or pups all over the base that my friends is your three star nice job buddy all right let's move down to nine dingus what a dingus bring here oh valk attack that's right now um so this is their number three town hall nine uh mostly lego walls all town hall nine defenses but just a terrible base design um people people just did the smallest amount of research watch what happens here so he sends in two golems he's going to create a funnel He's going to open this wall. Now, as soon as this wall is open, that leaves you access to the entire ring around the entire core. So one jump spell and two wall breakers essentially gives you access to 99% of the base. So when you bring eight Valkyries, and, and at that point, it doesn't matter. They can run through the whole base. There's these little open compartments for some reason. Even if you close those off, it would like take these double defenses you have out here for some unknown reason and close these off like why would you let valkyries run in there makes no sense i'm sure he's got a spring trap in there thinking he's clever but 
Definitely not a good base, as you can see. Dingus just shreds this. So he's got a rage. He's got a heal down. CC troops are getting taken out. Um, I might have been a little more cautious on the CC there because really balloons can mess up Valks. Uh, two shots from balloons and Valks are toast. Um, anyways, Dingus doesn't care. He just walks into this base. Absolutely shreds the core. Two hogs per defense on the outside really has this, you know, 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock position left to take out, and that's it. Uh, look at all these hogs moving in. Like, for an air defense, two arch towers and a mortar, it is GG at this point already. Nice ding. It's just murdered this base. This is, uh, like I said, not the best base design, but I like showing these attacks sometimes because it really, <laughs> really puts into perspective why doing these ring bases especially with every compartment open for some reason to hide your four spring traps i'm sure that's what he was doing are just bad anyhow boring war um really poor matchup by supercell so no offense to these uh, south korean guys but they were clearly outmatched in this war um you know 2.0 really brought the heat got some really good content coming up though guys so uh stay tuned uh, pumping up these recaps uh, as best i can uh so for tonight i think i'm gonna head to bed that does it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you guys bag that next three star and until then i'm out